in what has come as a big twist in the ongoing Joy Mala controversy. A new gift deed doing the rounds shows that Joy Mala was actually gifted by the Jumbo's original owner, Giran Moran, and not leased. Now on your screen is the copy of the gift deed we have accessed. Well, this is the big twist at the moment in the ongoing Joy Mala controversy. A new gift deed doing the rounds shows that Joy Mala was actually gifted by the Jumbo's original owner, Giran Moran, and not least. And on your screen is the copy of the gift deed we have access to. Well, however, this comes in contrast to what Girin Moran had told the media earlier. He said that yesterday, he had agreed to send Joy Mala on lease to the temple since it was becoming impossible for him to feed the animal in the aftermath of the Supreme Court ban on felling of trees across the region in 1995. Well, let's, let's listen into that conversation first of what Ma Moran said yesterday. Joy Mala, I'm going to go to the temple. I'm going to go to the temple. आरु अखंड तो का जगे बहेलो पटवा हाथी व्यवस्था आसल तितिया ठिकाना लोग कोई मैं हाथी जी ऊपर दिवन अखबीरत मैं बहेलो पटाई चिलो। Well, meanwhile, it appears like the tussle between Assam and the Tamil Nadu government over Joy Mala and eight other jumbos from the state is not ending anytime soon. In what can be termed as another shocking development, the four-member team from Assam, which is in Madurai, has not even been allowed to see Joy Mala and the other elephants by the authorities in Tamil Nadu more than 24 hours after the team arrived in the southern state. While well, the team led by the additional PCCF Hridesh Mishra was sent by the Assam Chief Minister Dr. Himanto Biswa Sharma to take stock of Joy Mala's condition after a video of her torture went viral on social media. Well, the video in question was also shared by Peter India. Now, as per highly placed sources, the team has not been allowed by the Tamil Nadu Forest Authorities to see Joy Mala so far, let alone attend to her medical requirements. Now, the team is scheduled to meet the temple authorities and local administration in a bid to begin the process to bring Joy Mala and the eight other elephants back. Now, the temple is located in Sri Viliputhur, at least 80 kilometers from Madurai. The key questions that now one needs to ask, is the Tamil Nadu government trying to hide something? And why has the team from Assam not been allowed to see Joy Mala? Well, sources in the Assam government said that the team would not return to the state until they are convinced that Joy Mala's health is fine. And we've got big breaking news just in viewers. The Assam Chief Minister, Dr. Himanta Biswa Sharma, has directed the four-member team to stay put in Chennai and ensure that they take stock of Joy Mala's health condition. Well, this big development comes at a time when Tamil Nadu authorities have not allowed the team to see Joy Mala and the other jumbos. Well, this is the big breaking at the moment. Assam Chief Minister Dr. Himanta Biswa Sharma has directed the four-member team to stay put in Chennai and ensure that they take stock of Joy Mala's health condition. This big development comes at a time when the Tamil Nadu authorities have not allowed the team to see Joy Mala and the other jumbos. All right, now in what has come as a big twist in the ongoing Joy Mala controversy, a new gift deed during the rounds show that Joy Mala was actually gifted by the Jumbo's original owner, Giran Moran, and not least. Now, on your screen, a while ago was the copy of the gift deed that we have access to. Well, the big breaking as well that the Chief Minister had direct the four the team, the four-member team to stay put in Chennai until and unless they get reports that Joy Mala is in good health condition. Well, the Assam, leads, Assam Chief Minister's latest directive to the four-members team after they've reached Tamil Nadu without being allowed to see Joy Mala and even check on her health condition. And to give us more details on this big development at the moment, I am joined by our editor-in-chief, Wasbir Hussain. Wasbir, good evening to you. First of all, this is big breaking by the Chief Minister himself. He wanted the four-member team to stay put in Chennai. What more details do you have for us at the moment? Well, yes, uh, the Chief Minister is bent on ensuring that uh, the health condition of Joymala, the elephant, and uh, eight other jumbos from Assam are fine. That is uh, the stand of the Assam government. They're bent on ensuring the 
safety and well-being of the nine elephants from Assam, including Joymala. So that, that is the reason why the Assam Chief Minister has given a clear-cut directive to the Home of the team to stay put in, in Chennai. But we have breaking news uh, coming in, uh, Aaron. Uh, the big breaking news now is that uh, the Srinivas are ready. Srinivas are ready. The additional principal chief conservator of forests and director of the Anna Geological Park in Tamil Nadu. He has said that uh, the Tamil Nadu government and Tamil Nadu forest authorities have given all proof to the Assam team that the nine elephants are absolutely fine. The nine elephants are fine and doing all right. Uh, and that and said that they are discussing the ownership details with uh, the team. Uh, now, now what is significant is that the Assam team, the team from Assam, wants to uh, actually give it three billion kapoor. Three billion kapoor is the place where Jaimala is currently uh, present. The Assam team wants to go to personally to three billion kapoor and examine the elephants, including Jaimala. But uh, the but Srinivas Reddy. But Srinivas Reddy, the PCC have said that, that, that there is no need for the Assam team to go to Sri Billy Putur as the Tamil Nadu government is taking good care of the elephants. That is the stand taken by the Tamil Nadu forest authorities or for that matter the Tamil Nadu government. They are saying, the Tamil Nadu government is saying that the Assam team need not go to, to Sri Billy Putur to personally examine the elephants because the Tamil Nadu government is taking good care of these animals. So that is the shocking uh, stand. If the elements are fine, the big question is if the, if the jumbo is fine, if Joymala is fine, and if the other eight elephants from Assam are fine, why should the Tamil Nadu government not allowing the team from Assam to visit, uh, uh, visit, visit the location where they are at the moment? So this is the big story. We are going to play out. Very soon we are going to play out the bite uh, of uh, the, the Tamil Nadu additional pieces here, uh, Srinivas. Srinivas are ready. So, but this is the big story at this point in time. The Tamil Nadu authorities, we have already broken the story earlier in the day today that the authorities in Tamil Nadu are not allowing, authorities in Tamil Nadu are not allowing the Assam team to, to actually go and visit the place where Joymala is located. They were refusing permission. That is the story that we had broken. But now there is confirmation from of, about it and from the authorities themselves in Tamil Nadu. Srinivas are ready. The additional PCCF of Tamil Nadu has said that they have given proof to the Assam government that the Joymala and the other elephants are fine. And when the, on, uh, regarding the question of the Assam team visiting Tamil Nadu <laughs> to personally go and meet Joymala, uh, they are saying that there is absolutely no need for that because the Tamil Nadu government is taking good care of it care of the jumbos. So this is, this is something which is absolutely unacceptable, illogical, because if the elephants are fine, if the jumbos are fine, why is the Tamil Nadu government not allowing the Assam team to visit Sri Villi Putur and examine the elephants and, and satisfy themselves? Because this has become a hugely emotional issue in Assam. Uh, forget about the controversy, whether Joy Mala was gifted, whether Joy Mala was sent out on leave, that's uh, immaterial. That is not at all important. What is important is that Joy Mala is an elephant <coughs> that belongs to Assam. That's an elephant that was born and brought up in Assam. And then it has been sent to Tamil Nadu uh, for whatever reason. That is immaterial. But people have got a, developed a huge emotional attachment with, with, with Joy Mala at the moment. And therefore the controversy. And this uh, people are unwilling to accept the fact that the Tamil Nadu government is not allowing the team from Assam to visit Sri Billy Putur and examine and see for themselves that Joymala is fine. This is the big development at this point in time. We are very soon going to play out the bite of, of Srinivas already, right. the additional pieces here from Tamil Nadu. Aaron. Very true. Was Bir Hussain there? Like you said, it unacceptable and illogical. A very emotional uh, development here that we have for you, but we will play out the bite in a short while from now. For now, our editor-in-chief, Was Bir Hussain, thank you so much for joining me. Now, just... Yes, just like the editor-in-chief, Wesbir Hussain, said that the Tamil Nadu authorities have said that there is no need for the Assam team to see Joy Mala as the Tamil Nadu government is taking good care of the elephants. He said it is the job of the Tamil Nadu government to take care of the elephants, which it is doing. He further added that a special committee takes care of the captive elephants and the team is regularly inspecting and will submit a report. There are uh, nine elephants in question. 
uh, one of them is this uh, Jai Mala, which they call as Jai Mala. We call it as Jai Malieta. Okay. So this is the elephant in question. is presently in Sri Viliputur Temple and uh, is being given the best possible care and treatment. So it's being uh, uh, well taken care of there. The uh, uh, whole situation arose because of a video which recirculated of, a, of an old incident in which the animal was beaten. So prompt action was taken at that point of time and uh, the concerned uh, uh, accused were uh, acted upon and they were dismissed from service. The present uh, Mahut and Kavdi are taking very good care of this elephant. Not only that elephant, the other eight elephants in question also are being well taken care. And uh, this is being handled through the district uh, uh, captive elephant management committees, which uh, uh, Tamil Nadu and Kerala are the only two states in the country which have captive elephant management rules. Okay. There's a full set of uh, uh, protocols which are uh, laid down and uh, uh, things which the team has to inspect. And these committees in the districts are headed by the district collectors and they have other officials including their district forest officer and officers from the animal husbandry. So in this combination, they regularly inspect these elephants and report to us. Now regarding these nine uh, elephants, these came at different points of time. Uh, today uh, from the team we also uh, got the copies of the ownership certificates. So that is in the process of verification. Okay. Whether they were gift or they came as lease. Okay. So we are analyzing that.